if you have your Bibles, which I know Wanda doesn't. <clears throat> I want to read something from, oh man, yeah, <clears throat> thought I lost it. Uh, <clears throat> I want to read, uh, I'm going to be in James, I think, first, I mean, James chapter <clears throat> 1. But I want to read something first from 1 John. Both, all, all of these are in the back of the Bible. <clears throat> I, want to, uh, I want to read verses 9 and verses 10 in 1 John. <clears throat> no, I want to read 8, 9, and 10 in 1 John chapter 1. <clears throat> something came uh, to me last night. And church, will uh, believe you me, I'm right here with everybody else. The preacher ain't above anybody or anything. He'll make mistakes and uh, just like everybody else does. <clears throat> but God wants His people, and I know this beyond a shadow of a doubt, because I, I always ask the Lord. I was up, uh, I, I seen a, a, a lot of times people think that I'm downstairs uh, when they're sleeping, uh, just watching TV or playing on the phone. Sometimes that's true. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but other, uh, it's not true all the time. Uh, uh, a lot of times I'm just simply meditating upon the Lord, His Word. And, uh, and the same a lot of times when people think I'm upstairs just being lazy and sleeping, I'll be doing the same thing. Uh, so, I'm thankful... <laughs> that I don't have to care too much about what people seem to think. I'm thankful for that. It's what God knows. But God wants His people to understand something. He wants us to know that if we have done anything or do anything against Him, that He will indeed forgive us if we will simply ask Him after we confess it to Him. Don't try to, but many, and, and the Lord wants us to be reminded of this, so I guess I would speak to His people first. Because a lot of times, church, and I've seen it again and again and again, many people get into trouble because they simply uh, begin to allow the devil to come in once they make a mistake and just have a field day in their mind and in their heart. Aha! See, if you were a child of God, then but did not the devil do the same to the Lord himself? If thou be the Son of God, command these stones be made bread. If thou be the Son of God, God jump over this cliff. Cast yourself off of here for the uh, God has the uh, for uh, it is written God shall give his angels charge over thee lest at any time you dash your foot against the stone the devil knows how to trick you up and me up he can do it yeah, I'll tell you what <laughs> he can do it to the preacher just like he can some anybody else nobody's above it but let's look in 1 John chapter 1 because God wants His people to get off of our lazy bed, so to speak, get out of our comfort zone, uh, uh, if you will. And God wants you and I to literally wake up spiritually because time is at hand and God is coming back. We, some people, will indeed have to remain and watch their children or some of their family members leave without them before they hear, let loose my wrath. People is going to people's going to be running. People is going to be doing their best to hide, be on their way to their job, and the end of time just simply takes place. Be walking down the aisle to get married, but they're not going to finish it because God has shown up. It's really going to happen, church. It's really going to happen. People's going to be in the uh, house of God preaching and teaching, uh, and God's going to end it all. It's, the preaching's over. Here we go. Amen. It's going to take place. We have to be ready. If the people of God are not ready, if the children of God don't care anymore, then most around the world show we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Now, 
verse 8, chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Well, I don't sin. <laughs> okay. I've never sinned. You know, a lot of people think that. They actually think they're a God in their own mind. They think they're a legend in their own mind. Some people love themselves enough for the world. <clears throat> Are you going for the number three? No, I'm going through that. All right. If, num verse number nine says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Didn't say some of my unrighteousness. God did not say, uh, if I will confess my sins, He will forgive me of some of them. He said He is faithful if I will confess to Him, and He will forgive me of all of them. And brother, uh, how many times have you and I done this and went to God and then left feeling like it's, uh, uh, something's wrong? I still have the heaviness. I still feel that God is nowhere around. I feel that I cannot get back to where I was. I just had this conversation with somebody Friday, uh, Saturday. Saturday after, uh, Saturday evening in a parking lot of a church. I once was here, but I don't feel it anymore. What is going on? I said the world's coming to an end. The falling away is all is all over the place. God's own people have not uh, are, are failing to show God that uh, we are interested in who we say we serve. It all boils down to this church. We're just like Israel, doing the same old thing, going back away from God. And I'm not here to point fingers, step on toes, try to make anybody mad or anything like that. I am here to deliver what God wants me to deliver to His people. So if it does step on toes, don't expect me to apologize. If it does make you angry, I won't say I'm sorry because the Word of God needs no apology. It's as simple as that. The Word of God will do some things. It will cut you and I asunder. It will tear us apart. But if we swallow that truth instead of chewing on it, it'll set us free. It'll set us free. Verse 10, if we say we, uh, that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His Word is not in us because he, we, we will never make God a liar. His Word is not in us if we say that. Seeing that, knowing, uh, knowing that, and I wanted to read that first. Let's go to James chapter 1. That's toward the front a little bit. If you're not familiar, you got First and Second Peter, I think, and then you should flip over there to James. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> James chapter 1, verse 1, it begins with, uh, you know... Uh, uh, um, count it all joy and stuff like this when we fall into temptations uh, <clears throat> knowing that the uh, all of this stuff that comes upon us it simply works patience and we are to allow the patience of God to come into our lives and remain and stay so that we can grow in the grace of God But you, and I know what it says through there uh, so I wanted to say a little bit about that uh, so, because I'm not going to read it. At least I think that's what that says. Yes, it does. All right. <clears throat> but many times, church, we fail miserably at allowing the patience of God to uh, dwell within us. Many times we fail miserably to l allow the compassion that God has so richly shown unto us even while we were sinners. We fail to allow the compassion of God to show unto others. Uh, we fail to allow the love of God to uh, be shown unto others. We fail miserably at everything we try to do, especially if we try to do it without God. I don't want to, to preach the word of God in the wisdom of any man. 
I, uh, I sat under Brother Bostic for years and years and years. And I got up there and, and uh, preached while he was gone and things like this. Through my knowledge, he's always preached the Word of God. Have no problem with it. But at the same time, and I'm not knocking my, my, uh, my pastor in any way. It's just because somebody preaches this way or has that experience, that's not where I, that's not where I want to go. That's not where I want to be. I want to preach and teach the word of God according to the wisdom of God according to the knowledge of God and in the fear of God at the same time and church let's just get on uh, let's just read a little bit uh, before we get started here it says verse 19 wherefore no 17 let me read that uh, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness. There's no neither shadow of turning. There's no respect of person. What he will, what he does for one, he'll do for the other. All we have to do is allow him to. All uh, of his own free, of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren. Let every man be swift to hear, comma. What's the word swift mean, anybody? All right. Quick to what? Quick to hear. To hear what? All of the gossip this church is saying about that church? No, sir. All of the uh, uh, quick to hear what saith the word of God. Be and, and church, I'll be the first to admit that I'm a man when I'm but not behind the pulpit. I'm just a big old child in the Lord. I like to play and have fun uh, just as much as anybody else. I've got one of the most, uh, uh, I don't know, flexible sense of humors that I've ever uh, encountered in my whole life. I as far as I'm concerned, I'm living proof that God has a good sense of humor because He may have created me. I have a good time with brothers and sisters. I don't want to go out and try to uh, uh, talk at a person. I want to talk to people. I don't want to preach at God's people. I want to preach to God's people and lift them up. And, and uh, 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 so, but we're slow to hear. The word of God. We're quick to hear about anything else. We need to back away from that nonsense and turn it around. We need to get away and not be so quick to hear everything else that's going on in the world. We need to be quick and swift to listen if the Lord is speaking. And when the preacher man that is a preacher of God is speaking, you know, not just a preacher man that gets up and carries a Bible and gets behind a pulpit, brother, the devil comes in false appearances many times, and he's always in the form of light, is he not? Most of the time, the devil makes a pretty picture. He don't show me the real deal. Oh, man, that's nasty. That's ugly. Uh-uh. Well, we'd hide tell it down the road. He paints that gorgeous picture. Hang on, Lord, I'll be right back. Now, that's what we do. That's what we do. Now, uh, slow to wrath. Uh, no, let me see. Uh, slow to speak. Slow to wrath. What's wrath? Anger. Anger malice, that's right. But how many, t how, how many times can somebody say something to almost any one of us and man, our, our face gets beat red. It's not from embarrassment. It's from that blood pressure just getting uh, so up out of hand that fast. That'll kill you. That's not of God. Now, he says, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. They, brother and sisters, when the wrath of man is, is uh, going on and having its way within you and I, we can sin against God all we want to, uh, but as long as we hold on to that pride and we don't want to be told by anybody and we think we already know everything, brother, that's when we're getting set up uh, for a, a great big huge fall uh, because the Bible said pride. 
uh, cometh before a great fall. And brother, pride will lead you into destruction. Uh, but how many times, church, uh, do we forget uh, that God said, I am faithful, sir. Uh, 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 children, I will uh, forgive you if you uh, will simply turn to me and first of all confess to me that you have done wrong in my sight. I will forgive you, uh, but we fail miserably at it, do we not? How many times can you read in the Bible uh, that God told Israel again and again, uh, uh, come now, and brother, let's reason together. Let's sort this out right here and right now. Uh, in the book of Isaiah, I'm going to paraphrase it. Though your uh, uh, sins be as red as crimson, I will wash you and make you as white as snow. Uh, brother, God is big and pleased since the beginning of time uh, with his people has he not? And his people continue uh, to do the very thing of uh, whether we know it or not. Uh, brother, be uh, uh, the same thing uh, that Israel had done. And Judah, the sister of Israel, uh, was sitting there seeing all of this and watched everything that the Israelites done. And then they seen how uh, Judah seen how the Israelites uh, were turned over into the hand of the enemy. And many of them were destroyed. And all of them, I believe, uh, were captured and taken in a, 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 a prisoner by the enemy. And Judah seen it all. How Israel played the har a harlot and the whore in the eyes of God, uh, going away from their God and setting up false gods and other gods. Ju uh, Judah seen it all, church. Uh, but at the same time, they apparently didn't learn anything uh, because they went and did the same thing, except they did it so much work in the eyes of God. And when I begin to think about these things and I begin to look around at the world today, oh, no matter where I go, up north, down south, uh, out west, or out east, a uh, brother, the house of God is one place. Whenever I go into it, a uh, brother, their seats are empty and I don't understand it to save my life. I know why it goes on and I know what the cause of it is, but I don't understand it for to save my life. Uh, where are God's own people? A uh, brother, God is the very one uh, that we, you and I, uh, left hanging on the cross, is he not? He's the very one that we mocked, is he not? He's the very one that did it all uh, for you and I, even though we were lost and dead in our sins, did he not? He still loved you and I and did all of that. And he's the very one. After you and I just said, hey, whatever, we're done with him. I know we didn't do it in person. We wasn't there. But we may as well be. He took my weight of my sin and your sin uh, as well and put it upon his shoulder. And the only thing uh, that you and I have done is, martyr, is uh, ridiculed him, mocked him, uh, spit in his face, hated him, striped him. Should have been our, uh, 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 it should have been you and I delivered up to death, but he loved us that much. And the same man that you and I and the world has done that too, he's the very one that has turned right back around and wipes our eyes of the tears. Don't cry. Don't cry. I love you. We are failing miserably, church, and I want, I want to uh, flat out address God's people right now, and it doesn't mean it's you in general. I mean it's God's people all over the world. Brother, we need to wake up, and we need to wait. Uh, we need a spiritual awakening. Uh, brother, I want to do this. I want to do that. Help me to this and pray for me that. Brother, the devil is on the rampage. It don't ever fall into uh, the category church of uh, making your bed to where it's so easy uh, to do the same thing again and again uh, and over and over. If, you, if you're going to run your mouth and make a vow to the Lord, remember this one thing. He did not ask it of you. Uh, so you keep your mouth shut is the best thing uh, that you and I can do slow to speak and say uh, slow to get angry. Uh, brother be swift uh, to hear the word of God. Uh, but when we hear the encouraging words of God, 
uh, most of the time. And don't you never think I don't know about it. I hear it all the time at church houses uh, where and when I go. A uh, brother, they're, uh, they're talking about the little preacher man. I wish he just shut that mouth. I'm ready to go home. A uh, brother, I'm getting hungry. My old belly's a growling. A uh, brother, everything in the world can wait. Uh, when it comes to the Word of God, uh, we need to be like more and more like Mary. A uh, brother, when she was at the feet of Jesus, uh, when he was speaking, uh, while Martha was out cumbered about many things, uh, the world is, is the same way I know, but the children of God are falling into the same category. The children of God are falling into the same trap. It all boils down to this. It's the snare of the devil, and it takes uh, something from you and I. The joy of the salvation of God, and it takes the desire to serve our Lord from us as well. I don't have that joy anymore. God's where you left him. Why don't you go back and see where it is? He's where you left him. He hasn't left you. Wherefore, verse 21, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, comma. Anybody know what that means? <clears throat> Abundance of wickedness, all of that, get it away from you. God says, hey, I have chosen you. We didn't, I did not choose God. Let me tell you something, church. Let me educate all of us a little bit in case we don't know or in case we have forgotten. I did not go off looking for God. He left the splendors of heaven looking for me. And brother and sisters, he did that for you. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Every one of us was lost. Guess what? When he came, he was seeking the whole world. The whole world. He died for every man, woman, boy, and girl. Now, uh, and receive with meekness, humbleness, humility. Some people, they just cannot be humbled. What did Brother Jeff just say about a big, strong, masculine-looking man uh, flat on his back in a coma? Couldn't move, couldn't speak. God gets the last words. It's, I'm not going to sit here and say God is the one that struck him down like that. God came to give life. The devil attempts to take that life, but the hand of God says, No, sir, I want to talk to this man. Get... Get over here, Satan. You can afflict him just like you did Job, but you can't take his soul. I want to speak to this man. That's what God does. But people blame God ignorantly. All I've done, and I'll tell you something. Uh, let me just read. Uh, the, uh, uh, receive with meekness the engrafted word. <coughs> engrafted, uh, the word that's planted. The implanted word or the word that goes out to you, uh, receive that with meekness. Why? Because it is able to save your souls. What is, the, what is the first thing that I went and read? It's also the word. We also need to receive that. That is the first thing I read, if you've forgotten already, was if we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar. Nobody's going to make God a liar. We deceive ourselves only. The truth is not even in us. If that's our attitude, if that's what we say, I ain't done nothing. Oh, we're well, sure you have. You put Jesus on the cross, brother, for, for beginners, sister, for beginners. It was for you and I that, that, that he did it for. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Able to save our souls. And uh, 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 if we confess our sins to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us and remove and uh, uh, forgive us of all unrighteousness. That is also the engrafted word that we need to be assured of and take heed to. But be ye doers of the word, comma. Boy, that right there is going to affect every one of us. Guarantee it. Oh, I don't know who you think you are, preacher. I'm Brother Millard Bolden III. That's who I am. Child of God. Nothing, nothing less. And you can't be anything more. Can't be anything more. But that's who I am. Now, and I, just like everybody else, 
I have failed miserably at doing. I have listened many times. I have gotten up. I too have gotten up, came in, got a blessing, got up, left. By the time I hit that parking lot, I don't know what I don't know what the message was about. I mean, just like that, gone. Let's go. We'll uh, get it again next Sunday. We'll pick up right there. People's into that trap right there, aren't they? Well, I've given God an hour <laughs> this week. Some of them, I've given God an hour this month. I've given God an hour in the last two or three uh, months. This is not a weekend hangout place. This is life. This is a life. That uh, in this world that leads to life in the world to come. And not by gathering here, I mean by following the Lord. You can follow me all you want to if that's your pleasure, but I would beg you no, uh, not to do that because eventually I will stumble and fall. And if you're following me, when I fall, you're going to fall. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ because I am right there with you following Him. That's who we follow. Uh, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. If we do that, we are deceiving our own selves. There is a place in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, no doubt, where we read of a man named Judas. Judas is carrying <clears throat> who delivered the Lord Jesus Christ, of course, because the Scripture said that's the way it's going to go, so that's the way it's going to go. Delivered the Lord up into the hands of the evil people, and Pharisees, scribes, all of these things, uh, chief priest of the synagogues, uh, Sanhedrin, all of that stuff. Delivered him up for 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver! I wouldn't do it today. A lot of people are doing it right now for less and still calling themselves Christians. Lots of people. He was called the what? All I have lost none, Jesus said unto God, uh, but one. The son of perdition. Why? That the scripture might be fulfilled. Have I not... Chose, uh, chose 12 of you, saith the Lord, and one of you is a devil. He already knew it. But G uh, Judas had just as much uh, right to heaven as anybody else. He had as just as much time uh, with the Lord uh, to repent and make it right, but he chose what he chose. And then he went out. Uh, I've seen a lot of movies where he just falls into a fire. He didn't do anything like that. He hung himself, and when he did, all of his bowels gushed out. That's what happened. That's the Bible. That's not a movie. I don't care about your movies. They can't... Uh, they can't show me what my Lord went through anyways. Amen. They can't show me what my Lord went through. They might give me a little visual, but they'll never uh, make me know what, show me what he went through. Uh, but be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own souls. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Anybody know what that means? What's that? Looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror. Uh, he, he looks in the... We, we look in the mirror. We're not done yet. We look in the mirror. <clears throat> uh, just like this morning, I was sitting there getting this tie, and I had to do it, I think, four times. It's like, nope, that's not right. About four or five times. When I walked away, it, it, it looked, I don't know how it looks now, but it looked right when I walked away. But I did not forget uh, how I look. I did not forget who I am, what kind of person I am, where I was going. A lot of people do that. They look into the mirror for a little while, and then when they leave that mirror, uh, they're, uh, and a lot of them is like, uh, some of them, you know, the women, I gotta, that's that face. I don't understand the face, but it's always there. I've got that face going. Putting that stuff on. They leave. Some of them, they forget who they are. They got to check it again real fast. Men, same way. All of this and all, oh man, I am a good looking guy. A lot of people are, are into themselves. Put all of that stuff away from you, church. Beauty is indeed in the eyes of the holder. As uh, the older you get, 
the more wrinkles you can expect. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of money you got. You see the people on TV that's got the money. How are they going to move? I mean, huh? They, they can't even smile. They can't even smile. It's serious. It sounds funny. And I'm saying all of that to this. Look at the money that is spent uh, on things to make us uh, as close to perfect as we can possibly be and as close to flawless as we can be when Jesus chose a body that had scars. A spear stuck in his side. He didn't choose the, the body. He could have chose anybody. No doubt in my mind, he's God Almighty. But he chose the body that has the things wrong with it. Scars. Scars never heal, heal completely. But that pain, it goes away. I've got scars everywhere if you look real close. The scars are almost gone, but I don't feel the pain of it no more. But let's not deceive ourselves because if we be a hearer of the word and not a doer, we are just like uh, a man looking into the mirror uh, and beholding our face in a glass. And then 24, we behold, for he beholdeth himself, or he looks at himself and goes his way and straightway or immediately forgetteth what manner of man he was. But who now let me explain that right there a little bit. Because there is a great need for this. Peter actually was this kind of man once upon a time. I'll die for you, Lord. I will not leave you. I'll die. deny you. There ain't no way. The others can do it, but I will not do it. I will never deny you. Trying to serve God to the best of his own capability. Forgetting who he was automatic just real fast. But when everything, and look, he denied the Lord three times. I, and, and then he started, got angry and started cursing. I tell you, beep, beep, censored, censored, cut. I don't know this man. And God forgave that man. He went out and heard that rooster crow, brother, and it hit him right there. And it brought that man to his knees, no doubt. He was full of sorrow, full of compassion, uh, full of guilt. And, but he, and he went out alone and had himself a good cry. How, did, how he must have felt. Well, he's dead now. It don't matter what I'm feeling. You never know what was on his mind. But hey, the Lord forgave that man. He, uh, Peter became a strong pillar for the Lord. He, he got away from that man that uh, was looking in the mirror uh, and beholding himself and forgetting, trying to serve God according to the best of his own fleshly capability. That's what we do. It pertains to that. Don't do it, church. Because if that's all people are doing, I'll be the first to tell you, you're not serving God. You're not serving God. Don't think I need that. Anyways. Uh, 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. What is liberty? Freedom. Where does freedom come from? That's right. You cannot have freedom because you live in the good old USA. Land of the free. Nothing is so farther from the truth. It's not the land of the free because there's, uh, there's laws put upon us that the people that are putting upon us are completely, uh, uh, it doesn't fly for them. The, it doesn't pertain to them. You, this is your law. I, I'm the one that 